In light of these facts presented, parcel 021A has no legal resort use or commercial history, and therefore is not lawfully qualified to be designated GCR at this hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next one I have is uh, David Martin. Okay, go ahead and start it, Mr. Winter. Thank you, Chairman White. To all the members of the board, the current and support staff, um, as well as our uh, competition, our opponent, good morning. My name is David Martin. I practice law in Navajo County for the last 28 years. I'm honored to represent the people that make up the Greer Coalition, a grassroots organization that is deeply concerned and committed to the democratic process that will allow responsible growth, development, land usage, planning and zoning that is consistent with the laws, and um, that this body, in its wisdom, and for the benefit of all the people of the Greer community, has enacted. Specifically, I'm referring to the Greer Zone Ordinance, Article 6. I provided a copy of it to you. The most applicable part of it for today's issue is Section 601D1A. Quite simply, the parcel known as O21A uh, is not um, been legally used as a resort, lodge, hotel, motel, or bed and breakfast, and therefore is not entitled to automatic designation as a Greer Commercial Resort Zone. Um, that is the issue before this body. The other part of the issue is whether or not this body is going to follow the erroneous recommendation of its staff that is based upon confusion and embellishment of historical facts and the dogged pursuit of allowing development that is built upon a series of mistakes. I would urge, first of all, that you consider the way this has been noticed. It does not alert the public appropriately because it suggests that there is a non-conforming use or conditional use on O21A. That is simply not the case. There is no such designation on it. The historical records within the county's own documents show that. When this body passed the law, the Greer Zones made a promise. They made a promise to allow development consistent with what the law was and allowed for their use. However, if this is approved, that promise will not be kept. But there still is a way to allow the development to occur, and it's right there in Article 6 as well. It does allow for following the six month public pro process, a public hearing will be held to adopt the zone map following the amendment process. That is where this ought to be headed. There is simply nothing within the record, all of your records, to suggest that a CUP was granted. The insertion of a three-acre parcel into this, as proposed by your staff, is simply incorrect. It is not. It's a 1.9 acre uh, CUP. The remaining 1.1 acres never was, and there is no direct evidence, nor even any meaningful circumstantial evidence, that it was. I would urge you to um, not approve this, or, um, with all due respect, Chairman, to continue it, because Mr. Weller has worked a good deal on this, and my timer says I'm up as well. Thank you for your attention. You can have my other three minutes. You can use my minutes. May I proceed? Let me here? make sure your name is, is on here first. Yeah. Your name, Matt? Linda Adenero. 
Okay, next person we have is um, Scott Rose. He's on the phone. Scott, uh, are you on the phone? I am, Chairman White. Thank okay. you very much. This is Scott Rose okay. with the Kavanaugh Law Firm in Phoenix. My address is 1850 North Central Avenue, Suite 2400, and I am also proud to represent the Greer Coalition in this effort. What this boils down to in this recommendation by uh, the staff is to rely upon a site plan that was never the subject of a hearing that magically appeared in the file at some unknown time by some unknown author with no date on it. And the rest of it is built upon pure speculation. What we do know for certain, however, is that there was a dated site plan in the file in 1995. And what we do know is that Mr. Donato, who was the applicant in 1995, said in his own words at that time that, the, it, that it is a 1.9 acre parcel. And he's looking to expand it in the future. That is in the minutes of the Planning Commission meeting in April of 1995. So at that time, Mr. Donato said that there would be a 1.9 acre development and that anything in the future 